And by jumping Judas, I will if you don't get him out of here. Come on, Holiday. Well, what are you all standing around for? Go on, get back to work. That's what Walker thought. Here's your receipt for him, Mr. Trimble. He belongs to us now. And you're welcome to him. Yeah, I'll see you next week. All right, Holiday. Follow me. Leave your coat and cap on the bench. Piper, this is Johnny Holiday. Hello, Holiday. Holiday doesn't like us very much. He's already tried to run away. Oh. But Mr. Walker changed his mind, not without some loss of dignity. No. Don't let it happen to you, Doctor. Sit down, Holiday. All right, then, stand up. Holiday, we don't have any walls or bars around here, except in discipline barracks. This is a training school. But running away is no good. Even if you should get beyond the grounds, you'll be caught and brought back. There's only one sure way to get out of Plainfield. Good behavior. Well, we'll talk about that later. Right now, I'd like to ask you some questions about yourself. Why ask me? You got all the records. The record says you're a pretty bad boy. But I don't believe that. Then what am I doing here? Robbery, truancy, breaking and entering. That's what it says here. You have to pay for what you did. I ain't crying. No, you wouldn't. Big shots don't cry, do they? And they don't squeal, either. The police say you didn't do all these things alone. You're covering up for someone. They're nuts. Well, if you are covering for someone, I don't think he's much of a friend or he wouldn't be letting you take this rap. And he wouldn't be laughing at you right now. He ain't laughing. Smart, ain't you? No. I'm only trying to help you. I've seen so many boys come in here loyal to the wrong person and the wrong ideal. But some of them got wise to themselves. They're the ones who get along. Does that mean anything to you at all, Johnny? Mush. All right, Johnny. The boys here in Plainfield go to school one day and work the next. What trade would you like to learn? There's the machine shop, the print shop, the shoe shop, the bakery, the laundry, the carpenter shop, and the farm. Well, I can figure that one out for myself. Yes, sir. Stevens, put Johnny Holiday through the usual routine and then take him to Cottage 8. Yes. Come on, kid. You boy, sir. Tail end of the line. Come, Mr. Tang. Joe! 
Okay, boys, get to bed. Sure fixed the walker today. Hey, Wooden Ears, I ask you a question. Uh, leave him alone. He thinks he's a big shot. Yeah, big shot. Pipe down, the watchman. you're doing? Don't feel like working this morning. Ready for inspection, sir. That's the way I like to see a team of horses rigs all spit and polish. Yes, sir. You like being a teamster, don't you? Yes, sir. Best job on the farm, ain't it? Yes, sir. But you like better loafing around the harness shop while you get this fixed. We'll get it fixed, all right. Pulaski! Pulaski! On the double! Yes, sir. Pulaski! Where is that boy? Yes, sir. Oh. Take that team of horses and get that harness fixed. Yes, sir. Start shoveling. <laughs> and if the rest of you young puppies get any smart ideas, remember I was a top sergeant in the cavalry before any of you was housebroken. Put them to work, Jackson. All right, fellas, get going. Riggs, in case you run out of work, there's plenty more where that came from. tell you, when you lean a high-strung horse, lean into him like this. He's never been mean before, Mr. Walker. Easy. Now get in there and behave yourself. Come on. <laughs> when a horse turns ornery, there's always a reason for it. You keep away from that stallion that I have a chance to look him over. I don't want any dead boys on my hands. Yes, sir. A new boy for you, sir. Well, I can sure use him. Bring him in. What's he doing in my barn? What are you laughing at? Nothing, sir. Dr. Piper said it was only a temporary assignment. Don't Piper know I need big, strong boys on this here farm? I got enough termites in this barn already. I ain't no termite, and I don't want to work in your old barn. Oh, you don't, don't you? I'll take him. But you tell them lame-brained pencil pushers up there on the hill that I'll have plenty to say when the boss gets back. Yes, sir. I sure tell them. Wait a minute. You keep your mouth shut. I'll tell them myself. Well, what are you hanging around here for? Go on, beat it. Pete. Pete Jackson. Yes, sir. 
Well, what are we going to do with that? Well, sir, we're a little short of milkers at the dairy barn. All right. Let me see your hands. You couldn't even milk a goat. How about putting him on a water wagon? Water wagon? He ain't graduated from kiddie cars yet. We could put him to work in the field. Ah, uh, them big boys would plow him under and not even know it. Oh, come on. Ever curry a horse? No. No, sir. Okay. Okay what? Okay, sir. That's better. Now, when you approach a horse, always give him a warning. Whoa, girl. Whoa, 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 wh